Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, wherein I have noticed that there is a location for a long apprentice mission, which will get these four units that we took last time, leveled up quite considerably and should bring back quite a lot of goods, like sellable goods, quite a lot of money. Now, this will cost us a lot in terms of provisioning, but notice also that um, Erasmus got syphilis and Holmesy has some pretty bad stuff that we're not a fan of. One of Erasmus's skills while camping is to remove a target disease from either yourself or a companion. A target disease is a funny way of saying it. What I meant was, removes a disease. Uh, which is great, because we get to camp twice on a long mission, which means we can remove two of these three for absolutely free just by getting there. Um, there is a thing in the cove, which I'm not going to do. There's also a short one in the ruins, which we just did, so I kind of don't really want to do that again. Um, and this... Seems like a nice trinket compared to whatever this does, who cares, right? Um, so let's... Now that we've upgraded our blacksmith... No, we don't need to do these people. I'm wondering if it's a good idea to upgrade... Especially Dark Trojan, right? We've got some cash. We should upgrade all of these people as much as possible. Maybe not in all these... Um, the, the abilities that they have. But even then, these are so cheap at this this stage, we should probably be doing it. But not all of them. I keep going back on my own uh, theories. I think that's as leveled up as these four are going to be, but I'm just going to go straight away and embark once I've given them their trinkets back because I took them away. Because I'm cruel and vindictive leader. Um, scouting chance. Stress seals received while camping could be good because we're going to be doing that twice, so we'll get a lot more benefit out of that than we normally would. More damage to melee and less move skill chance is fine because we're not actually really using the move skill chance. We have used knockback previously. But in the previous episode I explained the value of having a move resist on Dark Trojan here and I'm going to stand by that and say that is still applicable. And therefore stick with it uh, and go along with it. Stun, move, don't care. Again, this one. Now, we're going to... The wield? The wield. There's only one thing available in the wield as well. So we want damage versus Eldritch. Which I'm going to give to you. We've only got one, which is odd, because often we get many of those. Uh, and Adam here already has damage versus beast as a result of being a houndmaster. So what we kind of want on here is maybe some resistance. Why don't we have this? It will reduce your bleed skill chance, but it will greatly increase your blight and bleed resist, which is the sort of stuff we get in the wield. So we want to make sure Adam's not dead by the end of it. We don't want to focus all of Zika's efforts on Adam, because other people are going to be taking damage as well. Um, and also, there is a, something like a sniper's ring that we should maybe take. The one from uh, being in back. May way more accuracy in position 4, which is great, because you're always going to be in position 4, except for when things go horribly wrong. We're going to be camping twice, so I'm not as worried about stress as I normally would be, but what we can expect to happen is that someone else gets a disease, and then we're no better off than we were. All we're doing is swapping diseases around, which is not ideal, but here we go. So this, this part has worked out quite well for us so far, but uh, we have yet to see how much better it can be. We have to provision a lot for this, so... I wanted to make sure we had enough money before I could, well, this is the sort of uh, mission where you want to have that much money to start off with, uh, uh, and we do. So we're going to take some of this. Again, this is going to be one of those situations where we want to do these at the start more than as we get on, because eventually we can just leave. Uh, and I think we'll just embark. It's not a boss mission. So I didn't actually pay attention to what the mission is, but it's not a mission that involves taking stuff. Which could mean it's a mission that involves collecting stuff. But it's just an exploration. Look at the length of this. Now they are as twisted as my own ambition. So 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 19. There's 19 of them, which means we can probably skip two. So I'm going to skip that one. I might skip just two. Like a whole branch like this. That would make sense. Because this one's close and we can get it done with. This could be a... Uh, can we... 
I don't want to waste a herbs on it. And I don't think I'm likely to get food out of that because it's a human being, so. Let's do it. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're doing okay. We're still alive. Oh, bit of stress. We're still going. Everything's fine. Didn't have a proper torch. This is bad. Dun dun dun. You get to go first. Lunge at Light, fly and stun. Get rid of the stunning units before we get rid of the just general damage based units. Seven. What? You can't hit a spider? DT. You disappoint. As usual. Uh. Seriously? Okay, bye. I will let you off because of the bleed, and I will let you off because of the dodge, which is timely. In a manner that I believe would be described as clutch. Let's uh, let's bring the torch up a little bit. Look, that was supposed to remove your dodge. The fact that you dodged it is a little bit of a piss take, if I have to be honest. A little bit upset with you for having dodged the thing that was supposed to be buff you, so that you couldn't dodge the next thing. <sighs> Look, I, I understand that it's your prerogative and indeed possibly your job. It might be in your job description to do exactly that. We're the heroes, you're the enemies. Half of your purpose is to not take the piss like that. It's dead now. There's no real point talking to it like it's not dead. We'll use a torch, we'll move on, we'll go around this loop. Please. There we go. We haven't had any scouting yet, which could mean that we get a trap at any moment. Oh, here we go. Right, they're surprised. Let's kill the shit out of them whilst they're surprised. If we can just kill one of them, which is extremely likely, the other one is not going to, I believe, not going to be able to produce another one. Right. That was much better than the last time we had to deal with them bastards. But those things still put the willies at me. That's worse, I should speak. Uh, I mean... Sometimes things put the willies at people, I guess. There's a Gravedigger. Gravedigger is aware of how often a Gravedigger pays off. Already got a full inventory, but... Crests are so common. I'm going to stick with the, the opportunity to get more gold. I think we're doing well in this whole campaign, despite the fact that I haven't been cheesing it up by dismissing people just as they get stressed out. Because it's so easy to get a lot of money by never spending money on people. Send them off on a mission, kick them out, right? But I've not wanted to do that, and I mentioned that early on. I'm not wanting to take that tactic. Uh, and I think not taking that tactic has actually worked really, really well. Despite the fact that it could have gone completely wrong at any time. So I'm glad that that died with one hit. I'm hoping this doesn't get a go before I get the opportunity to beat the ever-loving crap out of it. Um... You can't actually hit. We'll do this. Don't think you can dodge a mark. You did get a debuff. Less pro. Uh, you didn't. Um, you didn't not go before me. I think uh, we've got some negative speed. Yeah, we've got a speed debuff there, so it's not unsurprising. Yeah, spread out the damage. That's okay. Ah, uh, it's not that okay, but it could be worse. Uh, Nine to fourteen. 13, but a bleed? A bleed, so you're dead. Right, good, good, good. Uh, we will heal. Well, we didn't get hit, so we don't need to heal ourselves. So. You don't have. Well, you have a lot of dodge, so. We'll try to de dodge the dogs. Make sense? Yes, it does. I would really like a repost. But, uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll take the guaranteed kill in this situation, because the dodge on that one means it's. Even less of a guaranteed alternative than the previous one. Uh, I'll step back here. Not sure why. It's probably a good reason. That works. And then this one dies. Excellent. Well, that went really, really well compared to the previous time that's happened. Um. But a victory nonetheless. It would be nice to be able to take this food, but. I think I'm going to discard the anti-venom. I 
I decided to discard the bandages because we could use two bandages, basically. Can you open this without... Triggering a trap. Yes. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. So we can strategically think about where we're going to camp. And I think we should do this arm and then camp when we get back. Or maybe camp when we get to the end. We'll see how it goes. In fact, if we camp when we get to the end, we can do those and camp when we get to that end. Because we're going to get worn down. As we get along, we're going to have taken more damage and there's going to be less food and that sort of thing. We're going to want to camp closer to get... The second camp is going to want to be closer to the first camp than the first camp was to the start of the run. A handsome reward. Yeah, again, these are well kind of cheap. I don't mind discarding them. But I'd rather not have to. So if we can camp sooner rather than later, we can get rid of the camping equipment. Have that little bit of extra space in our inventory. Happy that so many runes have not got um, combat in them. You're going to be dealing with that. I remembered this time. Are you proud of me, Mum? She wouldn't be proud of me. I'm playing computer games with people I've never met on the internet. Well, I'm actually playing for a lot of people I have met, but by and large, people I've not met. In theory. Uh, I didn't use the bandages to deal with that previous curio, because we haven't got the inventory space. So if we use bandages, the bandages give us a good chance of getting a load of stuff back. Which is fine, brilliant. I'm happy with that. But we haven't got anywhere for it. So if we took it and then just threw it all away, we might as well go back for it when we've camped. If that turns out to be an opportunity. I didn't put this unit back in the right position, so we'll just shadow save for now. It does mean that Zeke, her homesy has a go where she's not doing any um, healing, but I, I don't really mind. That was actually a pretty good synergy we just did there. So it was, it, I think as long as we don't need Homesy to do any actual healing right at the beginning, we can actually start Erasmus off in the second position, stun something for DT. Well, now we need Homesy to do some fucking healing. We'll do this. Just to top everyone off. Yeah, that was not ideal, but it could have been worse, I suppose. Let's house Harry the one that we could kill and has a go. We did kill him. And the crit give them no quarter. gives everyone a little bit of stress deal. Not enough to take Homesy here down to uh, less than two pips, but still good. Good nevertheless. Perfect. We're critting like mofos, so I'm expecting something to go wrong very soon. Uh, 250, I kind of don't care. I want to make sure we have enough food to get through the dungeon, of course. So that's kind of the priority. We've got plenty of space left after the camp. I mean, plenty of dungeon left after the camp. Before we need to worry about picking up the stuff from the curios and, and running out, like, chucking a waste of food. Like food. So we'll camp first. See how much food we need. Because the more we've explored, the less we have to do, the less food we're likely to need. Hunger can strike at any time, of course. But the, the longer we go, each stack is three hungers. And we haven't had one yet. But you, you have to anticipate the game being a dick about it, right? So what are we looking at here? Nine. We can't kill this one. So we should probably go for either this one, which we're quite guaranteed to kill, or this one. We do have anti-venom left, so we should get rid of the one that doesn't do venom damage, but bleed damage. That seems to make sense, at least to me. And if it makes sense to me, it's right. Let me try and stun this, yeah. Knock it back. Just get rid of it, basically. Now these, these are humans and eldritch, but you've got the eldritch killer thing. So what we're going to do is bleed everything. It's not as um, effective as it could have been if... <clears throat> uh, Adam had gone first because there's one fewer enemy but even in that situation Erasmus would have just killed one of the enemies anyway and the bleed would have not been that valuable so here we go a little bit of venom here I mean one damage per round for three rounds it probably wasn't worth bringing the anti-venom because with Holmes's amazing healing trinkets we could tank all this damage 
Well, we've got two of them now, so it's, it's not brilliant. But. Pick to the face. It could kill this. It could kill either of these. But it will also bring them closer to death. <clears throat> that is... Dead. So now we Hounds Rush. We stack up the damage on this one, because that's another bleed opportunity. So that's on two damage per round. It's got five damage left. So if we can hit that... We can. I think I'm okay letting this hideous thing at the front, the scratcher, have its turn. Uh, and the dodge means that that was exactly the right thing to have done. And now is an opportunity, I think, to party heal. You've got two damage left per round. Unless I get so blighted with blight, as it were, that we're that close to death's door. Honestly, I, I don't think it's a big deal. We don't need to use the anti-venom. Which makes me wonder whether it's worth even keeping hold of it. It may not be. Now, the reason I did that that way was I wasn't sure how much damage Erasmus could have done to that, that particular thing. Yeah, I'm thinking we get rid of the anti-venom. Because I, I don't care for it, right? And then we get another stack of gold, which goes up to 1500. There's only 100 in it now. And we might as well start taking purchase. Spirits are lifted. crests. I mean, we have to bring something home. Clear. We'll do the last room here. Camp. And then we'll come back and pick up the Curios on the way back. We're still probably going to be uh, chucking some things away. Food? So that's another stack of food, so we don't need any more of that, that's for sure. Oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, you dick. What are you doing? You forgot about the moving Erasmus thing again. Well, we've got the stun bash uh, synergy thing going on here, so it's not the end of the world. And Erasmus is at least now not displacing Holmesy, so Holmesy can heal if necessary. So we've got to finish him here. He has a chance of actually, yeah, just completely taking that one out of the picture at all. So it wasn't ideal, but it did get the job done. And because Erasmus dodged that one... I am feeling vindicated by accident. The ground quakes. And a crit on that. I mean, we got lucky, that's for sure. But everything that happened in the, that first round means that my original mistake was not nearly as damaging as it could have been. I mean, we could just hit that, right? <laughs> Who cares? Blanket fire is dodgeable. It wasn't dodged. But Holmesy can do her favourite uh, her favorite attack on everything, or we could just finish it. I think finishing it was right in that situation. And there's why we take 100 gold, because now we have 1,000 gold. Right, 600. 700. I can, I can add and read. And, you know, my three R's. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. Don't know if that's the thing in the States. I know I have a couple of American viewers, or at least stateside viewers, across the pond. Uh, I think it was a, like the Tony Blair Labour government decided that all kids needed the three R's. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. A chance to steal it's like, well... Against the coming horrors. <laughs> I understand it's like British humour. But the fact that two of them don't even start with R. One of them isn't even the thing that you're saying. And I took the piss. Uh, this is how we do it. Time cost three. Ten accuracy, five crit. For just you. 35 scouting chance. Then Basically, that could last until the next camp. Um, and could find us a secret route, but we didn't bring a key, so that's not that great. What, what have you got? Everyone reduced the stress, not valuable. More accuracy, more dodge. Yes, we'll do that on Erasmus. Why are you hiding? You're hiding behind... Uh, Adam. <laughs> Adam's just completely covering you up. What have you got? You've got this. So now, no one's got a disease yet, apart from the ones we started with, which is great. So I think the first... Uh, I think the first thing we get rid of is probably um, Bulimic on Homesy, because healing skills while camping could turn out to be extremely useful there. I, I don't know if we get to um, pick. Oh, and you! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What? <laughs> Not only did it cure Holmesy and himself of diseases, <laughs> it cured both of Holmes's diseases. I mean, it's a singular in the description. Okay. Uh, there's one... Uh, I didn't realise that Adam didn't have... I'd only just remembered just this second that the Houndmaster has a no ambush skill. And that ambushes are a thing. That's the other thing. Uh, I kind of forgot. But why don't we heal you? Heal. 15. There we go. Right, everyone's fully healed except... Okay, most people are fully healed. Good enough, right? Uh, everyone reduced stress by 10 and plus minus 10 stress down. Yes. There are some stressy uh, people. Some stressy uh, enemies in, in the game, so... Having a little bit of that around would be very useful. And we might as well... There's not much more we can do. Uh, why don't I do this to you? Now everybody has at least an approximate equivalent amount of uh, stress damage reduction. And hopefully we don't get Secrets and this. <laughs> can be found in the most this is a bad ambush. Usually you can expect... Oh, that's actually a really good surprise position to be in. Usually you can expect... Um, like spiders or grubs. Having this stress unit here on top of... Like this is a, this is a standard um, encounter in in this dungeon, which is not something I expected at all. Now you're at the front, which is okay with me. We've got less and M plus, so that's cancelled out. This is causing us a lot of stress as well. You've got the accuracy and the thing that keeps you alive, which is probably a good idea because I expect a lot of the things that have happened so far have failed to happen because of that 40% here. Uh, crit on that unit, extremely useful. That unit's dead, so no more stress in this. That was basically the perfect way of dealing with that unit, even though we didn't do it on purpose. Uh, Self-heal, torch plus seven. Might get us out of... Nah, it doesn't really get us out of stress. Which is okay, but... I was hoping for better. Oh, that was actually over pretty quickly, the start of the second round. So we only actually took one round's worth of bad from them in the first place. This is the sort of thing that happens when someone dies, but in fact it's just a shitload of stuff. Uh, finish off this stack of food. Why have we got so many trinkets? <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Um, we've got enough food, so we don't need this. We'll take both of those. Well, that was a bit of an issue, because now we've got loads of crap to sell. These sell for a lot, so I'm happy to keep them. But it also means that we don't get to use our inventory space for the stuff that comes out of the curios. I will still, nevertheless, uh, yeah. I will still, nevertheless, open the curios. They may contain stuff that we would rather take instead of stuff we've already got. So it's not completely silly. Finding the stuff or things that just stack. So that was also an opportunity, uh, an option that I had considered. Home. I know there was something here that I never actually went to. That I said it open later kind of feeling like I can't really be bothered. Hope that's okay. Yep, four of those also stacks. So those two stacks anyway, but uh, try to min-max a little bit and there was no point doing so. It happens. So here's me hoping that we only have to do two fewer. Otherwise we're going to have to backtrack all the way. It may be worth just doing that one just in case and then we'll end on that room instead of that room. Honestly, probably worth it. So I will do that just to be on the safe side and because, you know, there's not been much... Oh, here's the thing. So we'll just use this one instead. We haven't got any bandages left because I uh, got rid of them. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that after all. There's the hunger pang that I was preparing myself for. We will do this because the rooms have been kind to us so far and not actually contain too much combat. Case in point. So, lunge at this one. Please kill it. Very wide range of damage opportunities in, in those. Which makes me wonder. Human Eldritch. It's 33 prot. We can do some damage to it, but it's really our only option is to hit that one. Or to uppercut one. 
take it out of the equation. But we want to hit that one and we can't, so... We could mark it for death. It does have some dodge on it. But what I'm thinking is if we can get Adam to hit that. Dodge? Oh, good dodge. Because we've got the uh, bonus to dodge. If we can get Adam to attack this, could kill it. Not quite. Bleed, though? One damage per round. It will get a second go. Unless we just do that. It will still get a second go. <laughs> but it's only going to get one more go. And we can deal with that much stress damage at this stage. We're fine with that. Spread out the uh, HP damage, also fine. It means people don't get quite so close to death. Or not very quickly, is what I'm saying. Uh, of course, you're slower now. So I have to keep that in mind. That's a decent amount of its damage. And for pick to the face it, it could just die straight away. Should have done that first, apparently. Still, a guaranteed kill is better than... Um, a chance at uh, another kill. We should do this. Very good. That unit not getting to go before me made all the difference. I'm just thinking like whatever. <laughs> do the most damage you can. Pretty sure that's more damage than that. Whatever. At this stage we just have to hit this with anything that will do damage and hope that it doesn't do as much damage before us. Human? Yep. Yeah. And then a pick to the face should finish it, to be fair. Brilliant. I do like picks to the face because A, it's called picks to the face. B, it just does that much damage. Do you know what? I'm going to put you in this position. Nope. I'm going to put you in this position. So that we can do the... Uh, I don't know if I prefer the stun and smash tactic to the just lunge and kill. Uh, that's not what I meant to do at all. I think I'm going to say I prefer the lunge and kill. Because, uh, bear with me, this is complicated. The lunge and kill will work on any party. Waiting to be spent. But the uh, stun and... Stun and stab with the finishing thing only works on things that are surprised. Because we have to ensure that Dark Trojan gets the go with that, that attack before the enemy gets a go with their attack. Which means that, usually that means that the enemy has to be stunned. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to concern myself about that. We don't have any stuff. We've got plenty of food. Which is the first time for everything sort of thing going on here. So in this situation, obviously, we want to do the stun and stab. But at the same time, now I think about it, what are you talking about? The stun and stab, it moves Erasmus, sure. That's usually a good thing, if Erasmus is in the wrong place. But that's two attacks to kill one unit. We just did two attacks to kill two units, which is clearly better. You'd have to put forward a very complex argument to suggest that it's better to do it the other way. If we can kill this, I will. Rather than heal. When uh, when a hunger hits, we can heal anyway, so... As victories mount, so when this stuff, this black stuff at the top shows up, it makes me think that someone's been damaged. It's like the the bloodshot effect you get on some games when you get shot and it hurts. And you get the red around the edge of your vision. It's kind of like that. Oh. Which, uh, let's stop talking about it and just take it. Yeah, good. There's the hunger. So that's going to heal it up for a whole one. Brilliant. I was just saying, I was just thinking we shouldn't use the food to heal up because at some point the food's going to be eaten anyway. But I um, guess that's not how it goes. These are the only ones I can't basically guarantee a kill on. Unless we're likely to get a crit, in which case I should definitely do that. I'm wondering whether I should definitely attack these first anyway, simply because that first attack has the bonus to crit. It's only a 5% bonus to crit, but it can be significant. Who's a human eldritch? Which means you're the one likely to kill me. Which is another thing, I'd forgotten that we had that. Uh, if we, We're not likely to kill it without a crit, but the bleed will help. Uh, the bleed that it resisted. Yeah, that one. Good dodge on the second one. Honestly, having these three have their goes in order is perfectly fine with me. 
Let's um, let's do a proper heal here on Erasmus. He's taken some damage. They've taken some damage. It's difficult to know what pronoun to use because in real life they're not necessarily the same pronoun as the character. There's no description here. Uh, Shadow Fade or Pick to the Face? Probably Pick to the Face on this because of the likelihood of doing a lot of damage. Not, not a high likelihood apparently, but there is a likelihood of doing the majority of that unit's damage, which is good enough for me. Just keep at it. This one seems to have very poor accuracy. So I'm not sure it's just bad luck on its part in the previous turn, but I'd rather just beat this one down. It's, it's dead, but it will still get another two goes. Rend the mark. Oh, okay. So those two work together in that respect, but... I'm just reluctant to leave that corpse because DT's got a one attack that can only hit the front two. Oh, hello. Don't forget we have another camp. So we'll get rid of that on the next camp, which would be great. I would like to get Homesy to have a turn before Erasmus does. Oh yeah, let's stun the corpse. Sure, why not? Because I want to throw out a bit of a heal on these people. Uh, Erasmus basically undid or had our heal undone. Uh, by the render mark thing, combined with the thing that put the mark on in the first place. Oh, we're sorted then. I don't have to worry about it. Take everything we can. Remind yourself. Consider throwing stuff away. Slow and insidious killer. Take that. We don't care about those. We've got another whole stack of food. We'll see what's in here. It's empty, which it is. We'll camp here, and then we'll go up there and come back. So actually there was quite a long distance between the two camps, but if you consider that this distance didn't contain anything, it was actually one, two, three, and four if you count that one, which we should, whereas we actually did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so it's half as far. We don't need the camp, that is true. Um, but now that Snowland's, uh, Snowland, goodness, now that Adam's got this wasting sickness, that kind of Increases the chance of getting another disease, which is exactly what it says it does. But the thing there is that if we can get rid of it faster, I don't know if it will get rid of more than two diseases at once. I mean, I've not tested it. Oh, I didn't. Um, let's go back. We don't get any stress for doing that. No, we don't. So that's fine. Camp now. You are going to. We won't do a full feast, because then we'll only have four food left. There's still plenty of dungeon in which to have two hunger pangs. There is actually enough to have three, but I'm running that risk, because it doesn't seem that big a deal. Wasting sickness cured. I mean, that cost us literally nothing. That was great. Very much a fan of that. Uh, more scouting chance. Sure. And then we did this, which was... Less stress damage. That doesn't seem that good. I mean, it's a very de-stressy type process, but we don't we don't need to do it. So you can be more accuracy and more gritty. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh heck. And then we'll just do this. Get everyone a little bit less stress. Not that anyone is stressed out right now, but the less we have to deal with back at the hamlet. There's nothing upon us, which is great. The less we have to deal with back at the hamlet, the better we are. In fact. DT got a lot of stress when we were um, ambushed in the previous camp. Remember? Now he's got three. Well, five. You know, it's going up by two every so often. Where did it all go? We must have done enough crits, etc. Oh, I've only got two torches left, which is actually turning out to be a problem. Could be a problem. <coughs> we might have to start using Holmes's torch increase skills more often. Rut row. Right, Erasmus, learn to kill that. Thank you! <laughs> Sweet thing. Kill that. It seems very common that Imdism gets to go before Homesy, so we're not actually getting Homesy's <laughs> uh, skill at all, which is 
minor issue. Very minor. We should probably use this as well. But at no point have I come across anything that actually worries me um, about the the combat that we're dealing with. So we're going to use a torch here because there's immediate combat. I mean, the, the dog treats are to buff you for a combat, but I've not really given a shit by most of this combat. So, I've not used them. Holmesy? Oh, you go first. Oh, that's interesting. Well done. Let's try. Uh, okay. Whatever. Torch plus seven. I mean, it's some, right? It all adds up. As they say. The term, it all adds up, by the way. Obviously. What it means is if you keep doing it, you'll get there. Of course it all adds up. Northern Lion. We understand. In fact, let's address this. <laughs> we know it all adds up. when we Because Northern Lion's rant was that it's a truism. Yeah? It all adds up. It has to. If you do something and then you do it again, it adds up. But the point is it's an encouraging truism. It reminds you of the truism that if you keep doing it, it will add up. So, if we keep using that torch skill, our torch level will go up. It doesn't seem like much in each increment, but all the increments add up to a significant amount. Or even an insignificant amount. I mean, it's difficult to say it adds up to an insignificant amount and sound, sound like it's a useful thing to say. But I suppose it depends on how significant you want it to be. Right? I mean, it adds up to an amount that is significant for the purpose. That's all we care about. I am glad we brought shovels. Maybe we brought one too many. But I did use one to dig a grave, did I not? I think I did. Anyway, it all adds up. Keep using the torch thingy and eventually we might get to somewhere useful. But honestly, I'm not entirely sure it matters that much. Right, so we decided that we will attack the Eldritch with the person with the Eldritch ring. And the high chance to crit, which didn't pay off. I guess it was worth a try. Um, human Eldritch could kill it. You are critting so much more than Erasmus, and I do not understand why, but I love it. So keep doing it. Please explain it. Let's have a look. Have you got anything? Weapon base and camping skills. So your weapon base has actually got a 6% camp, uh, camp, 6 crit on it. You've got the same and you're not doing anything. You bastard. Whatever. Torch. Hit one that hasn't had a go yet. There we go. Now we're in the next level of light, so we actually feel a little bit better. It all lights up. Are you dead? Eventually. Not dead enough. Clarified in a single strike. That's not mortality clarified in any strikes. I'd like to be able to do like a little bit of damage and get a lot more benefit out of something else. I haven't got anything that buffs me as a result of doing a small amount of damage but a big buff on myself, which would be great because then I could do a small amount of damage and get a big buff on it. That's one of the situations where those things turn out to be actually quite useful. These are all human, which is just disgusting. You didn't even get bled. What a dick. Picks to the face. Can hit this. Shell. Thank you for being... A moderate amount of damage that was nevertheless sufficient. Torch up a bit more. Or all adds up. I mean, I don't think we're going to get to the point where it matters. There's no point increasing the torch further. There's kind of no point healing either, so... Yeah, we're done, so we're sorry. Take everything. Uh... Deeds are probably more important than basically everything else right now. We'll close that. We are done. So now we can open this, and hope for the best. Uh, why don't you take it? Contents are mine. Bring it on. Take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. Oh, we can take it all. Perfect. I would like a scout, but since we didn't get one, 
I'm not even going to risk there being another combat in the next room. We don't have any torch. Uh, which is, you know, causing us... It's likely to cause us a bit more trouble to have one more combat than it would otherwise have been because we didn't have any torch to take us to the next room. But I was correct. We only had to do two rooms fewer than we normally would. That's pretty good. That's pretty bad. That's pretty good. But it replaced Last Gasp, which could have been good, but we never got the opportunity to try it. So I'm okay with that. Happy with that. That was a decently long run. That was a, a long length run. Uh, a fairly normal length of time for an episode. If I uh, have to be the judge, which I do. They're not losing very much stress. 90. Maybe it's five a week. At some point we just have to put them in. We've got 22 grand now. 10 more deeds. 19 portraits and a lot of crests. And these busts as well. Let's have a look at this because... At some point, we're going to want space in these things, right? What's the sanitarium upgradable to? Just spaces, right? Cells. Chance of dis curing diseases. I these are so Experimental cheap. Techniques <laughs> and tonics can overcome things a sharpened sword cannot. I think that was a good idea. I did it anyway. That actually upgraded in the background. I don't know if you noticed. It did cost us some of the things, but we we're not using busts at all. We did seem to be getting quite a few. We had lots. So that was probably worth doing. Uh, I keep saying probably like I'm doubting myself. I don't want to come across like I'm doubting myself. It's more a case that at some point that's going to be have been worth doing. So it's a good idea to do it now. The, the only real doubt that I had was whether it was worth spending all these busts here or exchanging them for stuff that could upgrade the guild or the blacksmith. Honestly... I'm happy with the decision that I made. But I think it could have been fine either way, which is why I'm, I'm going with the sort of the probability hedging of those particular bets. Uh, definitely want to upgrade Erasmus, uh, Martinus. And Erasmus, where are you? There you are. On the ones that we're using a lot. Let's put this sort by level. There we go. So we've got uh, two level three stabby stabs. Martinus doesn't actually have pick to the face. We just have lunge and flashing daggers and all those ones. So lunge, shadow fade, flashing daggers, they're all they all kind of work with moving around but we haven't actually taken him out on <laughs> on a mission that has been su sufficiently successful to really test it. So I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident about maybe trying to attack a boss. Brian's back uh, with still a little bit of stress but I think we can cope with that. Um, but the Snowden, Earl British, Marie and Brian combo should be fairly good for the profit and we're going to find out in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe. Do leave a comment if you have any comments to make. I appreciate getting them as long as they're spelled and legible and preferably in English. But I don't want to marginalise people that don't speak English. What I want to do is marginalise people who pretend to speak English and then completely fail to. Uh, and you know, share it on Twitter. Do follow us on Twitter, by the way. We'll always be putting up every episode and having uh, a dig at each other, but that's just the way we roll. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.